Hey, yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to you guys live and direct. Listen, I wanted to say something real quick, and I wanted to say something and get it out of the way because I know a lot of people are going to ridicule me for it. But I wanted to say this because I really feel this in my heart. At a time, you had a lot of men running around doing a lot of things, man, that kind of make their family look kind of, you know, tarnished and be like, damn, why did that man do this? But a lot of men are starting to get an understanding and you're finding out that they're sticking strictly to the Salat al Mustaqim, asking the law for forgiveness. And of course, you got the brothers that aren't. But I want to say this. Where does it say in the Quran and Sinai, according to the Salafi Dawah, that women are allowed to have more than one husband? Now, a lot of people are going to say, King Erna, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I look at it like this. If you're socializing with other men, you know that's not Qur'an and Sunnah according to the Salafi Dawah. Now, you can have your mahram, right? The wali, the wakil. You know, all these things, they're supposed to be related to you. They're not supposed to be individuals that come off the streets that you say, hey, this is my wali now. Nah, that's not how you carry it. What ends up happening is you'll find a community that is okay with socializing more than they are with honoring the fact that you cannot socialize with other men. You cannot unless that man is a family member of yours, a close family member of yours. You know, the sisters is getting a little out of hand with thinking that they're able to have more than one husband. Where does it say this at? Where does it say it's okay for the woman to be in messenger 24 seven all day damn long? Messenger, I'm logged into messenger. What are you logged into messenger for? Nothing, I don't have a business or anything. I'm just in messenger. I'm just in my DM, why? family and friends you have an iphone do you have an iphone okay so what is the snapchat for let's give understanding here no one who is upon the hawk is supposed to be doing any type of instagramming they're not coming because it's the individuals that really do and the law knows their heart but they have to be careful because here it's devious. If you're following a lot of funny pages that you're going to see things, or if you're looking up a lot of things, it's going to show when you explore. The lust is beginning to be a thing that the sisters are tuned into more than anything. And it's getting sickening because you it's disappointing to see a beautiful, honorable, you know, sister that's married. Let me, cause let me really get on the married ones that's married and feel as though it's okay to kind of socialize with just anybody. Oh, I was just, he was just saying hello and I was just speaking back and this, that, and the third and blah, blah, blah. Come on, sis, you know better. When you said, La ilaha illallah wa ana Muhammad da Rasulullah, you made an oath with Allah to honor your husband, right? Likewise, the brothers, we, you know, we need to step up. I'm not married, but at the same token, guess what? If you're not married, you should still live like you are. You're married to your religion in an honorable fashion that certain mistakes you can't make. But tonight I'm not here to ridicule the brothers. I'm here to give their sisters some understanding that they have to listen to their husbands. Two, three in the morning, messengers shouldn't be ping, 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 ping. And guess what Chanel shouldn't be? You shouldn't be just having a regular social conversation with males. You even got to watch some of these females because a lot of y'all, y'all dipping and dabbing and dealing with the women too. Women on women. That's become a big thing in the community. And I'm not here to point out everybody failures or anybody wrong because I'm not the perfect guy myself. You hear me? But at the end of the day, when I'm out and I see a Muslim sister and an honorable Muslim man sitting at a table and they're eating and that Muslim woman is in her phone the whole time, it bothers me. Because I know that young man is upon the hop. And that young man probably worked all day and said, you know what, I'm going to take my beautiful wife out. There's no reason for her to not give him all the attention that he needs. That man is carrying the maintenance of you and your family. Let's get that understood. You hear me?
Because a lot of people aren't going to get understood. Everybody going to go around and tap dance it around it. They're going to come on these socials to speak good. Just honoring the women so they can have what I'm coming here for. That dishonor of just wanting to socialize with the women. Let me talk towards them and big them up. So they're honoring me more. And that's all. And I damn near went to a couple of the mass chits that's of Quran and Sunnah according to the Salafi Dawah and give it up, you know, listen, some, how Somali, the sisters are acting up. This is getting a little ridiculous here. We need an honorable check and we need a cookbook that gives them understanding that the social media is not where their sisters be at, should be at. Especially the ones that you ask them, hey, sis, I want to see who you are. You're following me. You just jumped into my DM and said hello. Or I said, I'm Walaikum. Show who you are in these times. They won't show who they are. Why? What is going on? Why are so many of them okay and in tune? And why so many brothers are just turning their back to it? It's okay if my wife could be on social media. It's no problem. It's no biggie. It make me feel strange. Like you don't care. Like you more interested in being at the mass shit with the brothers all day than you are of honoring your wife with the correct minhaj, the Arkita that is one. Let's get to getting some honor going on around here. The true honor, the honor that matters, the honor that helps us in this life and the hereafter. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. I'm not a perfect individual, but guess what? I'm going to restore the honor. King Erner, life and direct.